Another day, another broken VR chat update. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it. This time, except uh, for all the other things, they broke the fucking Vive dildos. So we're going to go and fix that. Uh, word of warning, this is recorded with a lavalier mic while I'm wearing my fucking headset and it's hot outside and there is a fan. So if you dislike the external noises and you want the studio quality, uh, cry about it. This is the best you're going to get. Um, right. So let's get to fixing. First and foremost, when you're going to be booted into the game, what you will have is the default or basic Vive controls that is somewhat similar to the non-advanced control scheme pro well, previously present in the game. Not ideal, barely works, you, know, like you, you get the click movements, you get the gestures being stuck and stuff like that, not great. There is a preset profile I've already made tonight while trying to unfuck their uh, mistake of an update, so it's available, you can just like look it up and click the activate button, you'll get it. But we're also going to go through it and just replicate it ourselves so you can understand what you need to do and how to customize it in the future. So first and foremost, open your menu, go to the cog tab, then open the full menu, navigate to controls, then click edit Steam VR bindings. This will pop this window up. By default, your current bindings will be VRChat default bindings for HTC Vive. Shit, don't use it. Instead, find either this, which is called Legacy Like Vive Wands, with a bunch of fixes that I've made. You can just click activate and, you know, use it away. Um, there are a couple of differences between how the old system worked and how the new system works. I guess I should probably explain it before we start. Uh, but right away, just activate the VRChat default advanced bindings for HTC Vive. Click activate, then close the menu and check if it's working. What should happen is uh, when you click, then release, but keep the finger on the touchpad on your left hand, and then slide the finger to the side, you'll get this gradual control of like stick-like motion. If, if you ever played anything with a controller, you know what it means. So old system is sort of here. Now, the difference is that now there is a separate grab and a separate interact um, action. These two, for one, in the default bindings, they're actually set up incorrectly. They mimic the uh, index controllers, knuckles. So index controllers have a funky thing where they don't have to press the trigger to actually grab something. They just need to touch the capacitance sensor. But if they want to commit to the action, if they want to interact with the buttons, uh, activate some kind of prop, doesn't matter, uh, they have to click the trigger. We didn't have to do this, not before this update. Unfortunately, that's how it's going to be, and uh, this also breaks your interactions with fist bones. Now, normally you can just grab them, uh, normally, there, but you cannot pose them like you could. So if you notice on my gesture on the right, I'm holding it uh, with the grip button and nothing happens. It just snaps back. That's because the interaction itself is uh, currently bound to a hundred percent of your trigger travel. But it's also the same thing for grabbing. Like currently I'm grabbing the bone, but it's not detecting it because I have to click it fully and only then registers as a grab. We can fix this. We can actually go back and set the grab to be partial click, while interactions would have to stay at a hundred percent, so we can at least differentiate between two. You can bind interactions to your um, grip button. Actually, you can bind it to any button nowadays, but we're not going to do that. So. Since you have the advanced bindings for HTC Vive on, go into the edit mode. First, let's fix the grip and then we'll fix the rotations on the right hand. 
being not so gradual and kind of dog shit. So, uh, first and foremost, fixing the grab. On the left hand, in the left column, look for the trigger section. Then under that section, there's a subsection called use as trigger. In there, an action for click is uh, selected as grab. Click this pencil, click on the grab, and select none. What this will do is it will disassociate... <laughs> what a fucking word. Uh, this will disassociate the grab action from your trigger press. But we still need to be able to grab props. And that's what we're going to add back. So press the checker, Mac, whatever. Um, now you can see that there's no grab action. In order to do this, uh, to add it back, what you need to do is to click on this plus button next to the trigger section and add a new subsection from the button. Since interactions like grabbing are binary, we only really care about whether or not it's past a specific threshold, right? So we're going to use this binary state for button. It added it to the bottom. In the click section for it, just select the grab and save it. The thing about, like, why would we have to do this? You don't have the uh, threshold controls for the trigger itself here. But you do have the threshold controls for the button state in this cog menu. By default, the click activation threshold is set to 25%. So 25% of your entire trigger's travel is when uh, you will be able to grab things. That's good enough, it's close enough to the legacy system. You can click confirm, and that's it. Now we can grab things, well, more or less. See, now we can grab things, but we also immediately start posing things. Not ideal. That is because you have this other user's button state bound to interact, and that is what will actually activate all the buttons, all the props, or guns in the worlds, and shit like that, and it will activate the posing of the fist bones. So, what we need to do now is uh, just customize the activation threshold for the interaction. I just set it to 100, so it's pretty uh, simple. There you go. And now, if I'm not fully clicking my uh, trigger on the left hand and use the grab, which is partial, ah, it works. Magic. But now if I grab it and then fully click it, it's posed. Lovely. And you can check it on some of the other props. Like, uh, and here I have the uh, test dummies. So partial click brings it back, so it's an equipable prop, and then full click activates the uh, grabbable object. So that's figured out, now you need to just replicate this on the other hand. Let's go ahead and do that. So once again, remove the grab from the trigger, just use none, yes, add a new section, it's a button in the button itself, Make sure it's a grab, and your threshold will be defaulting to 25%. Lovely. Now go back to the interaction button and just erase the threshold of activation to 100%. Close the menu and check it. So right now, not posing because I'm not clicking it fully. Posed. Lovely. Works just fine. Now let's fix the rotations. Rotations are, uh, for some reason, very goofy, because like, you can click on the left hand and then just slide the finger around without having to hold the button down, but you cannot do this with the rotations for whatever reason. I guess it's just to give you the access to these gestures, but it doesn't fucking make any sense. Let's fix it. It's very simple. Navigate to trackpad on your right hand, look for use as trackpad section, and you'll see that 
touch itself doesn't have anything bound to it, but on the left hand, it's the continue underscore move action on the touch. So when you click, then let go, but keep the finger on the plate. I don't know if you can see it being pressed in. Uh, probably not, but like I'm trying my best. There. So you click it, then you relieve the pressure, and then you just slide around. That's how you navigate with the advanced settings. Um, you kind of would want the same thing for the rotations. Well, now you can have it, actually, finally. All you need to do is go to the trackpad and assign continue underscore rotate under touch. So, like this. Almost done, <sighs> except... Well, yes, rotations work now. I don't have to click on either side. Just slide it around. But the... It, it's it's not very good. It, it almost instantly snaps to 100%. Let's just customize the sensitivity of that. So, once again, pencil and the cog. First of all, disable the dead zone, because these are not sticks. They don't have... Of physical wear except for the surface, but you know, that's a different thing. We don't need a dead zone on this. Then we also need to make the curve, the response curve from the center to the side, be more flat, I guess. Yeah, we'll, we'll call it a flat curve. So instead of starting here and ending here at the edge, we'll have the curve, or the entire response, start a lot closer to the center. The way you can do this is with a curve exponent control, by sliding it down to somewhere around 0.7. That's a good uh, setting I found that works for me. Wait for it to save. Come on. How was your day? Anyway, now click in, drag to the left, and we have a much um, wider range for our fingers' motions, allowing us to gradually rotate things. So you can have your comedic rotation effects, and then you can snap your finger to the edge to get the full rotation speed. Um, you can go even lower, depends on your own preferences, honestly. Uh, my preference is 0 0.7, 0 0.65, and 0 0.5 might be a bit too fast. Oh yeah, and you can also raise the uh, maximum zone percentage. This is just the maximum value we'll be reporting to it, but that's kind of irrelevant. Uh, it's not done saving yet. <sighs> my day was okay, except for when I had to get on VR chat. Anyway, so now we have an even uh, wider curve response, allowing us to uh, barely move our finger away from the center, but have this, like, roll control. And then when I start sliding my finger away from the center, I speed up, and boom, we have a much nicer stick-like control. Um, now yeah, we can apply this. One other thing that we found was broken, but they fixed overnight by the looks of it, was one-handed movement. Uh, they did break it entirely, so if you don't have one-handed movement on right now, you can't move. You can hear me mashing the right side of the uh, thumb pad, but nothing happens. That's apparently a bug. Somehow that ended up in the fucking production, but hey, why test anything? So now you have to enable one-handed movement and use your opposed hand controls to rotate yourself, you have to click it in to actually move. So that's a temporary fix that they've already rolled out. If it's not available for you, make sure that uh, your touch will just use the uh, continue move or rotate in the trackpad. This will fix it for you. That should be it. Then you can just save your personal bindings and you just have the much better controls.
Yippee. Good fucking lord.